Hello and welcome to the first Mike Mills English video lesson. Today we're going to do some pronunciation and the reason I've chosen this is because I think it's useful for everyone. It is not because I want you to speak like an educated upper class English person. It is because once you start to learn the basics of pronunciation you'll be able to understand fast native speaker speech in movies and so on and you'll get a lot more fun and enjoyment out of watching things so here we go many countries as you know have tongue twisters they have sentences that are difficult to say even for native speakers but especially for foreigners of course and in Poland when I first came here I discovered that Polish beer was stronger than English beer the Polish vodka was very different to English vodka and of course the Polish women were much more beautiful than English women and I spent many happy hours in a pub chatting away and then after a few someone would say Mike try and say this Chonch is to be spinia. No, no, it should be chonched. Chonched. No, you forget about ch -zhonched. I didn't forget about ch -zhonched. You didn't say ch -zhonched. You said chonched. Chonched is to be spinia. Chonched is to be spinia. It is not funny. This is serious business. <laughs> if you said the ch clearly at the beginning, I would have said ch. But if you hide it and just go chonched, how am I supposed to know there's a ch there? And then everyone would wait for me to try and say this impossible phrase. The reason they are so difficult is not just because they are difficult to say, but because they are difficult to hear. Now, if that sounds crazy, I will explain. For example, the sound ch doesn't exist in English at the beginning of a word. It, nowhere. It just doesn't exist. So our brains aren't programmed to hear it. So we try and say what we think is the closest thing to it. Now, you've all had your fun with me saying Shonched or trying to say shonched. Now it's my turn for revenge. There is a sound in English that other people from other countries don't hear because it is never stressed. But it is the most common sound in English and it's uh. That's it. As simple as that. Uh. And in a few moments we're going to test how good you are at recognizing. Canada's bigger than Alaska. Canada's bigger than Alaska. A cheetah's faster than a tiger. A cheetah's faster than a tiger. Doctors are better paid than miners. Doctors are better paid than miners. The Himalayas are higher than the Pyrenees. The Himalayas are higher than the Pyrenees. Canada's bigger than Alaska. A cheetah's faster than a tiger. Doctors are better paid than miners. The Himalayas are higher than the Pyrenees. Ka n d is big a. Uh, then a la skur a chi to is fast a then a tie g
doctors a better paid than my nurse. The him a lay us a high a than the pier a knees. So as you can hear, the sound a uh, it really is the sound that's all around. It's in comparative structures. It's in then. It's in words that end in a r o r e r. Not always, but usually. It's in a uh, and the. They're really not a and the. So articles which people usually have problems with because they can't hear them. But who said life was easy? Don't worry, be happy, things can only get better. When we talk, our tongue moves around our mouth to produce different sounds. I know, it sounds obvious. But for example, say the word T. When you say T, your tongue hits the back of your top teeth. And then, if you want to say ah, like when you go to the doctor, your tongue and your chin go down. Ah, that's why doctors use it, so they can look down your throat if they have to. So our tongue is constantly moving around our mouth. When we change gear in a car, the position in the middle of the gearbox is called neutral. It's where we go to get from one gear to another gear. Now, when our tongue moves around our mouth to make different sounds, the neutral position is uh. It's when our tongue is not at the front, not at the back, not at the top, not at the bottom. So it's just in neutral. Uh. Which is why we make this sound so often, because our tongue needs to get from one place to another. Now let's try some of your favourite thing. Listen and repeat. Alaska. Your turn. Very good. Bigger than Alaska. Canada's bigger than Alaska. No, 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 not Canada is. Some of you are saying Canada is. It's Canada's. Canada's bigger than Alaska. Just imagine that it's one word. Canada's. Canada's bigger than Alaska. And if you think I'm crazy... Well, I'm not. In Polish, you do it all the time. For example, z lodem. Piawego wino z lodem. Nie, nie, nie. Mówi się z lodem. It says on the screen, Piawego wino z lodem. Mówi się z lodem. But it's two words, z lodem. Ale wymawia się razem, z lodem. Naprawdę, what a language. Białego wino, z lodem. Brawo, teraz wyszło idealnie. Dzięki. And sentence two. Tiger. Faster than a tiger. A cheetah's faster than a tiger. Very good. Sentence number three. Miners. Better paid than miners. Doctors are better paid than miners. Great stuff. Well done. And now, the slightly tricky one. Number four. The Pyrenees. Higher than the Pyrenees. The Himalayas are higher than the Pyrenees. Did you manage that one? I don't think so. Let's try again. The Pyrenees. Higher than the Pyrenees. The Himalayas are higher than the Pyrenees. Great stuff. Well done. So, if you want to send us your recordings of you doing these sentences, that would be great. Please tell your friends about this little video. 
and we'll have a new one for you very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.